So we're off to Hilltop Cafe, meet Dominic, Rue, and a couple of others, and then go to the dock. It's kind. Dominic's got me uh, an egg sandwich, just asking for what red sauce. You can definitely tell the weather's changed, as in that shadow now, this time of morning, coming up to about 10 to 8 or so. Uh, month of August, before we know it, September, then October. Oh dear. Better make the most of the weather. Good, early. Good morning, boys. Good morning. Good morning. Well, you got me? my breakfast is on its Good way. Early. No, but I was at seven forty-four. I was going to order it. For oh, it's okay. Seven forty-eight when you were supposed to be here. Seven forty-nine. Drew, Drew's on site, isn't he? I don't know. Yeah, I've asked him to. Yeah, he is. Yeah, right. he's trying to work out parking charges. Brown, red, red. No. red. I've replied. Definitely could. Thank you very much. Oh, very good service. So we're at Devil's Dyke. It's now eight thirty. Uh, conditions look suitable to fly. Just a bit of thermic air and ridge lift. So, and a nice big windsock. Roo's, Roo's here. Um, I've done a top to bottom. That's He's done a top to bottom here. Three yeah. Top to bottom. It's, it's go, go, go. Look how it's not ready yet. That's good. Lean back in the seat. Push forwards with your arms. Get weight on that glider. Check your airspace, won't you? Get your hands up more. Ease your hands up. Come on, ease those brakes up. You'll love it. There we go. Oh, Howard's off doing... He's playing with the air there. Nice, Howard. Good. Dominic, you're getting a bit low, so catch the thermal. Um, we've got um, Medi over there. A lot of people out in the front though. Dominic's, you're getting low, Dominic. That's good. Perfect. Let's see, see something. On purpose. He, he, did, he did the circle on purpose. He moved his circle. Ah, oh, you mean to follow the rising air? Yeah. So you should be happy with that, Dominic. You've gone from, I don't know, 150 feet below landing back above takeoff. So. If you can do that once, you could do it twice. If you're on a cross country and you were going really low and catch a thermal, it's safe to do so. You can do that on a cross country. So you can get down to 150 feet. If it's safe to turn and there's nothing to it and it's flat, you can do that and then go back up. You don't need a ENC high performance wing to do this, basically. Just feel the air. Um, by the way, Howard's higher than you, though. And if we look up above, you've got Dominic. Both took off here, doing very well. That's it, Howard. Keep the turn on. Keep that turn on as you are now, Howard, and then you'll be up with Dominic, who's about 800 feet above you, I guess. Wait for me, Dominic. So, can we uh, get Dominic up and under that cloud? The other two have, uh, well, I think they've had beers or something. No, they haven't. They're just watching. So Drew, we've had out front. He's, he's on his return flight now. Uh, he's gain, getting to gain height and push out. So it's very low air time. Um, we've got Medi up there. And Howard's pushed out too far and landed at the bottom. Okay, Drew, we're coming back to the rising air where the ridge is, which is fine. We'll just top up our height and repeat the exercise again in a moment. But use the ridge to gain your height. That's good, Medi. You've got nice height there. Uh, Drew's still with you. One, okay, one sec. Keep turning on that, Medi, if you would, please. Yeah, you should do all right. He's got very low air time. Medi's, Medi's good. It was really low. It was going into land, so hopefully it'll stay up. Keep climbing now, Medi. But concentrate on the wing. You can't obviously you can just go around in circles and climb to cloud base. But you might fall out of the thermal, or you might align the glider better with the thermal. Beep, 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 beep. That's the centre. You should be turning now. Crank it right. Go on, get in there. Jab, 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 jab. Sweeter turn, keep it on, you're off the turn again. So, what I'm explaining to them is two birds over there having an argument. But I'm 
was in the rising air, which is about over there. And Meddy's done very well to get up there. I mean, he's got a red ribbon on. Might have to take it off soon. Um, under guidance, you can achieve these tasks. The wind is very light at takeoff. Uh, look there. Keeps trying to go to the west, but it's northwest, we'll call that. Dominic's here. Right, Dominic, uh, looking good. And you'll see those two birds on your left, won't you? They're, um, that's sort of showing you the thermal's quite big. Meddy, I want to get you to cloud base. So Howard's had a nice flight today. He's, he's got a blowy haircut there. Um, what's your thoughts on today's flying? What have you learned, Howard? Um, well, what haven't I learned? It's mixed wind, variable, bit of thermals. Um, saw a Raptor on the last flight below me. Yep. Straight lining, not thermaling, unfortunately. Lots of sink out there, which is why I determined to come back to the come in. But you, you did a lot of active flying, pilot input. Yeah. So for me, that that's that makes me happy because you you feel feeling the air now. Yeah, getting, getting how, more practice. How many hours do you have, please? Uh, just over five. Just over five. Just over five. So for five in these conditions, you sh and what you've done. Yeah, you know, I never did anything like that when I had five hours. I was still doing top to bottoms. Um, you know, big improvement. Okay. So, yeah, give you a hug in a moment. I'm very happy with progress. <laughs> so we're coming to the end of the day. Um, here's our our gang. Drew has gone. So Dominic's on the left. Hi, Dominic. Howard's in the middle. He's off to India with Steve soon. And then we've got Medi on the right, who does artificial intelligent programming. That's all about these things. Very intelligent man. Uh, what has happened is, I just put this into a video at some point, is just tell me briefly now, how many hours before you flew this morning did you have Medi? Just a bit over an hour. Just over an hour, he says, because the microphone's not too hot on here. Howard? Uh, just under five. Just under five. Just over 20. Just over 20. Blimey, where are you getting out flying? After work? So, um, Medi, it's a problem with these phone cameras. I have to be way back here. Otherwise, I can't get you in. The microphone's too far off. Medi's got now two hours, apparently. So, he's got one hour in today. So, when and you... 58 minutes. And 58 minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's all, impo yeah. all important. <laughs> I'll try and make a good video so the viewers um, can understand... I don't want to take the credit for this, but through my guidance, I can get you safely through the day. That's the best way to put it, learning at the same time. But um, I'm just going to compliment you all, basically, in your active flying. When you're flying in thermals and you're out the front, it's not easy. you can get it very wrong. You could, you know, you might be worried with all the other pilots. Today's gone very well for you. It's not going to be like this all the time. Um but I was saying to Howard, I wish there was someone like me when I started, because we might have a 50% collapse and no one actually knew what to do unless someone explained it. Just the information wasn't available and we didn't have reserves. So to be able to go out the front and catch these things called thermals and use them effectively, especially at I don't know, this morning now I've got two, it's quite amazing because, you, you know, you went all the way out there. Yeah, no, it was so <laughs> why didn't you tell tell the viewers... What, what it's like? I mean, what's going through your mind? Well, actually, I was researching, then I, I got low. I thought I pressed six on the bottom and then got the lift. And how, how did you get the lift? What happened? I, I don't know. I, I, I actually forgot. I think you probably, like, I, I mean, hit the rising air. Well, it's on the radio. I, yeah, I, it was on the radio, yeah. yeah. But you went up. <laughs> yeah, I went up. Then was, I was looking at the graph, which just like going up straight all the time. Then, yeah, I did like very long 360. Got, yeah. I give up because just got dizzy. <laughs> got dizzy. Yeah. yeah, very good. Then, yeah, stay up. Then, then kind of wasn't really like up yeah. there. Actually, it's interesting. The wing is quite different. So, it was being strong. I wasn't sure just a strong wing or is I'm getting lift. So, up there, a bit like after I lost it, then just hit the massive sink. Sink out the front. Yeah, yeah. That was unfortunate. Yeah. If you hadn't hit that, maybe, you know. You want to think about a route. So now you know how to get high. You want to be flight planning away from the site. Yeah, so I was looking on the ground, find the sunny spots and try to explore. Yeah. We can go through this on your development page. Okay. Yeah. So Howard, you've performed very well actively today. How, how, what do you think you've learned most? What's the thing that may you know stick in your mind? 
um, everything. Everything. Thermaling. Thermaling. Yeah. Lots and lots of sink at the end. Uh -huh. That uh, flight plan was changed to landing field. Yeah. And just line up with that and go for that. So, and so like the first time, which was, I found myself too low and couldn't get up, so it was landing field. Okay. No option. I think that's something Howard's mentioned. You should all take on board having a flight plan with the landing option available just in case you get sinking air it, it, it's probably a wise move isn't it you don't want to be landing on scary moments hoping everything goes all right followed by they're not telegraph wires the power cables or something silly in the one place you decide to land so having that option is a, a good backup plan because yeah when the sink comes the only thing you can do is fly very fast and hopefully away from it Problem is you don't you might be flying with the sink downwind for a while. Yeah. Yeah. And over to Dominic now. So Dominic who's he's got the grand total of twenty five hours. That's twenty it's like just over twenty one now. Turned on that one at a hundred foot. Maybe got that one. Oh when you were low out. Come mm -hmm. back round and work forwards a little bit and just trying to figure out where it was really. If you've been more over to the right where it was flatter in the field, I would have said turn on that. But you probably would have turned and been close to the trees, I guess. I was over that dead tree in the middle, yeah, and I thought maybe that was a bit risky. That's a bad, so. Playing the side of caution is good. But if you had come up from that low safe like you did oh, would before, like, you would have been, wow. Pats did on you? the back all round, wow. wouldn't it? Wow. Yeah, it'll be, and, and you could have done a high five and land on the top and go, my name's Dominic, but I have to leave by one o'clock at the latest. <laughs> so well done to all of you. You should all, all give each other a nice pat on the back, shouldn't you? Thanks, Rob. Yeah, yeah. thanks, thanks you, Rob. Yeah, yeah no, thanks Thank for you. breakfast too. No, no worries. Uh, Mark's just sat here all day. <laughs> <laughs>